She turned their homes into shrines to Albert. Here's their marital bed, and he's still in it. A portrait of him on his deathbed hangs above his pillow. She slept here with his old nightshirt in her arms. There were drums and trumpets, heralds and lords and ladies. Walking after the baby, sharing in the triumph, was the midwife who had delivered him, and the wet nurse who was suckling him. And when the troubles began, the king was here at Hampton Court. When you're writing a biography of someone, people often ask you, do you like your subject? With Queen Victoria, there's not an absolutely straightforward answer. The congregation burst into spontaneous applause when the preacher sang Essex's praises to the skies. It was much more dangerous than you could possibly imagine. Few monarchs have been better loved by their subjects. None has exercised a more powerful hold over the imagination of succeeding generations. Behead that man and give that lady a peerage. Very good, madam. 